All right. So today, boys and girls, we're gonna talk about Dixon flannel because I finally gave in to the hype and bought one to see what all the fuss is about. Holy shit, that wind is getting bad. All right, well, this ought to be fun. But uh, yeah, so I finally bought one to see what all the hype is about. And uh, it's one of those rare days in October in Maine where it's pretty freaking warm. Um, it's like 60 something degrees out, but it is windy as hell. And I figured I would buy this Dixon flannel to see exactly what all this hype is about. Are they worth the price? We'll find out. We'll find out exactly how worth it they are. And uh, like I said, it's pretty freaking warm today, but boy, is it windy as hell. Uh, oh, there we go, leaves hitting me in the face. Um, yeah. But I mean, for overall like wear, yeah, it's pretty freaking comfortable. Wow, the wind's blowing me around already. Um, it's pretty comfortable. That's the only thing I hate about this Rebel 300 is she is lightweight. She is very, very lightweight and very, very easily pushed around by strong winds. And we're having 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts, which I mean, doesn't sound like a lot to probably people who ride big ass baggers and shit that weighs 700 pounds, but this bike's just shy of 400. And with me on it, it's only got an extra 140 on it. So we're, uh, yeah, we're braving some, some territory here. But overall, the fit of the Dixon flannel, I like. Um, it's very comfortable for everyday wear. You know, like I said, it's kind of a warmer day today. And uh, other than the wind, which, holy crap, this is fucking brutal. Um, yeah, other than the wind, I mean, it's, it's keeping me fairly warm. I do have my vest on to protect my vital organs and whatnot. But I am getting pushed around a little bit, but that has nothing to do with the flannel itself. That has to do with the fact that the bike's super lightweight. I'm hoping the little stretch of highway that I have to travel to get to work isn't going to be so bad. Oh my lord, I am getting beaten the fuck up. Yeah, look at this shit. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, yeah, this is, uh, this is sketchy. Holy shit. I don't know why I decided to take the bike to work today. I figure it's nice weather, but this is fucking ridiculous. I am fucking white knuckling right now trying not to get pushed into the opposite fucking lane. Holy shit. Yeah, this is a bad fucking idea, guys. Um, wow. Yeah, this is sketch-tastic right here. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> Dixon flannels. Good wear. Um, yeah, fucking holy hell. This wind is stupid. This was a bad fucking idea. Holy shit. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, not liking this at all. So this video went from a Dixon flannel review to holy shit, I am getting pushed the fuck around by wind like Ripley wouldn't believe. Good fucking lord. Oh, man. Yeah. Holy shit. This is not cool, not kosher. Like I said, hopefully this little stretch of highway I gotta travel is not gonna be super windy and I'm not gonna get blown everywhere, but chances are I'm probably gonna be. This stretch isn't too bad. Oh, Lord, help me. Please save me. <laughs> oh, I just want to get to work. By the time I leave work, the wind 
it's supposed to be died down to about seven miles an hour so that's not bad seven miles an hour we can deal with it's the uh, ridiculous 20 mile an hour wind gusts that are probably going to give us a problem but I'm going to kind of go into a tuck here a little bit try to mitigate some of the wind because yeah uh, right now I'm riding into it so it's not as bad you know but holy shit yeah it's uh on my road that was pretty sketchy oh yeah we're still getting battered a little bit but not bad so this went from a Dixon flannel review to am I gonna die in the wind and I know a lot of people probably can't see it on the GoPro and they're gonna be like you're overreacting no I mean those winds and gusts were bad right now look at the flag it's it's died down but on my road, I live on top of a hill, so right now I'm in kind of a valley on a highway, and normally there's pretty good crosswinds through here, but right now it's not bad, so thank God for that. But my thoughts on the Dixon flannel so far, not bad. Yeah, a little crosswind there, kind of pushed me a little bit. But um, yeah, Dixon flannel company, so far, pretty solid. Um, I guess that'll... I'll get better uh, reviews on it when I'm not being pushed around. I don't know how many more days of wearing flannel we have left, but yeah. So that was my thoughts on it, guys. Just a quick video that turned from, holy crap, I'm uh, getting pushed around by the wind when it was supposed to be a review on the Dixon flannel. But yeah, I will catch you guys and the next video, I suppose, because by the time I get out of here, it's going to be dark. And that's no fun. I can't film in the dark. So, I will catch you guys later. Later.